how about making something a little different today? I'm gonna do a little bit of doodling and the most important part of today's video is using the paints that you probably have. Paints that are not professional. Those are like five dollar paints, five, seven depending on the brand. Let's make something gorgeous together um, because I believe that it doesn't matter uh, your supplies, uh, your skills, you can be creative and just uh, improvise and just do something super pretty even though you're not that great or you're not that experienced. Look, I'm just um, playing with some splashes and then adding some water uh, into my splashes to create some gorgeousness uh, sh um, shapes and I'm hoping for some lovely jovely sort of flowers and I can hear my little baby Inka jumping in here. Hi Hannah! How are you pet? How are you? Hannah is a little bit um, not herself today, she woke up with temperature, right? Uh-huh, I know, so again, and I don't know what's going on. You can, go on, you can, you have five minutes of cartons, would that be nice? Okay, uh, mommy finishes here and then you can, we, I come to you or daddy will, uh, when we finish work. Uh, so. Uh-huh. Yes, we... Okay, when I finish, you finish, is it? That sounds like a good plan. So, uh, as you can tell, we have just uh, did some shapes. How about seeing if we can actually have a lovely uh, mixture here, even though our um, paints are not even student grades because they are for kids honestly how about think if we can mix and match these colors here and see if we can actually achieve some pretty effects even though the paints are for fiber like is it possible uh, sometimes it's look how pigmented it is it's nearly too much for my liking <laughs> so it's quite interesting to see I love it I think I would love some rainbowy feel for these um, Let's have a look at this one here. So I'm just, I'm just playing around and oh, adding these tiny purpley dots. How cute, how pretty. You have loved as well one of the projects that I recently did in blue. If I can find it, this is the blue one that you just loved it. And I, I just think that we kind of aiming towards that unknowingly a little bit. Sometimes you are inspired by your own actions, by your own works. And I think this is exactly what happened here. So I'm just thinking, wouldn't that be amazing to have, uh, but here we just did one color, I think, and I scribbled and doodled and all, and we're gonna do the same. This is gonna be, maybe we're gonna do them as a tree, not a flower or flower, I don't know. Well, the flower could be just nice. I can see them right now. Could be just lovely. And the purple here, oh, look how the gorgeous colors are. Honestly, they are uh, kids-friendly paints. You get them in kids section for sure. You can probably grab them in Hobby Lobby. You can check my link. I link those paints to you. Like those are fantastic. You must admit it. Like, even though, um, they are probably not working that well on the surface or maybe they won't mix that well or maybe this and that. Do you know what? If you're just starting off, give yourself a chance and grab those paints because at least you have some starting point. So how about seeing what's the story here and just having that play. <laughs> with our trees or flowers I don't know what we're gonna do I think I'm gonna will I jump in for flowers again I would love that I think um yes I think I yeah or maybe trees I don't know um let's see no I think I would love flowers still loosen up your hand and just Oh, I love it. Look how gorgeous that is. Loosen up your hand and I think the more mm, un, uh, unroundy, yes, the better. So if you can see, I'm just, oh, uh, maybe I'm going to just have this one behind without, um, yeah, something like that. Same for here. Maybe I just will have... 
Oh, I love it. And this could be as a, my first choice, my first thing. I'm really holding my pen like it's nearly falling off my hand, honestly. It feels that. It feels it's gonna fall <laughs> fall down. And so mind that because I think it's important that I think the more a loosen up hand you're gonna have, I think the nicer effect you might just get. I hope anyway. And this one, let's see. As you can tell, my paint thing is still wet and that's okay. And that's even better, to be honest, because... Oh, this is so pretty. I thought that my watch is telling me to move. <laughs> Sometimes these watches tell you, uh, be active, move around. And I'm thinking, I'm not going anywhere. Um, uh, my hand is really loose. My hand is really chilled here. My hand is just doing uh, its own thing and the paint is wet and it's nice to have this kind of... Oh, I love it so much. Like seriously, this is so gorgeousness. Now I'm thinking, oh, the Lucas. My Lucas is here in the studio. He's doing something on the laptop. Work, work, work. Or not work, let me see. Mm. Oh no, not work. Doing something online, checking it out. Um, what I wanted to say, oh, let's make this darker here nice because I think it's gonna be just lovely when we have that depth here on the bottom sort of thing. I wanted to say that it, this one is inspired by this one, but it's not. I think it's a mixture between the color of this one, the design of this one, Voila. <laughs> so, do you know what? That's okay. I think if I encourage you by all means to just try it out, that's the, be that that's the best thing. It was actually so fun. I read the comment today. You talk too much. And then under another comment saying, you are underrating yourself. You're such a wonderful teacher with your explanation. And I'm sitting there reading those two comments thinking, what on earth? Like, how can you have such a two different feelings about the same person, the same video, uh, the same atmosphere in the video, and yet people are feeling completely different about it. You're selling yourself too short. You are not giving yourself enough credit. And this one is like, you're talking too much. It's like wrong. I'm thinking, you never can make everyone happy, right? And I've learned that years back, totally. And I'm totally fine about it. It just was so funny to read this in the morning. I just added a tiny a, a, a amount of water to that bottom part because I think it. Uh, sometimes I couldn't move the pigment. As you can tell, guys, this those paints, those five dollar, five euro paints, are working magic. No brother, no problem. Um. I love them. I really, really love them. Now, my question is, my idea, my thinking is, are we going to jump in with the same sort of bigger of a doodle or are we going to leave it or what? I think I'm going to just go back here and just make these stems darker and then the side because I don't know whether I wish them to stay like that would I like to add the greenery to it or not I actually don't know that yet um, I do love the idea of them to being sort of trees not flowers per se however they are well if they be green if I would make them in green they would definitely feel more like a trees but because they're pinkish purplish you think they just don't feel like trees as such do you know what I'm tempted to do I tell you what I'm tempted to do I'm tempted to add the white uh, I didn't wet this at all but that's okay I'm just tempted to see oh you know, like this kind of a different sort of addition to the project. Like filling up those gaps a little bit and just have that white going on. Oh, I love this. Like a tiny touch. But white, white, white. Oh. However, I do love the different sort of feel and the fact that it is not... Like the white is not the 
the petals are not fully filled in. I love that and that's exactly what I love. Uh, oh, I like that so much. I think I'm going to do black splashes on that for sure. My also thinking is, guys, are we adding the green or not? Let's see how flat this is. These are my favorite paper pads, if you're wondering. I'll try to link this to you. And I'm thinking, my friends, that how about doing a little bit of doodling back again, just because the wash made it less visible. So let's just repeat the process here a little bit on each flower, delicate, just to have it. And I'm thinking of black splatters. I would imagine that could be lovely, really. So let's try that. If you're wondering, I'm using Pilot GTEC C4 Roll Gel, a uh, rolling roll gel. Pilot GTEC C4. The link is in the description. The because many of you think, is this this one? Is it this one? So if you're not too sure which, because indeed there are so many of different types. Oops. Try and get the. Do you know what? I'm gonna just go on top of that. Try and check my link and see if the one that you're looking at it's the one that you need now oops <laughs> um, two last mm, flowers and we are done and you know what after this one I think I'm going to record trees autumn trees I'm not too sure when these are going to be live these, this video so maybe autumn trees is already on because possibly it's more convenient to do autumn trees right now video but in the same kind of way, scenery, I'm gonna do autumn colors. So green, brown, yellow, orangey, more brown, sepia and stuff like that. So, oh, I love this one. I absolutely love this one. Now, I think it would be amazing to have some black splatters, I think. I really believe that, yes. Maybe where the, like, kind of, the black splatters could be here, like at the, uh, where the darkest element oops oh that that would be a huge splatter where the darkest elements are sort of so I'm focusing my splatters where our center po cent central point <laughs> center point oopsie that was a big splatter by accidentos two seconds can I take this off hello hello and last time Hannah said hello, so many of you said that, oh wow, you're allowing your child to be in your studio. I do. Sometimes I ask Hannah, Hannah, do you mind if mommy finish off herself, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we would paint. Would you like to paint with me today on the new video? Would you like that or would you prefer to play with daddy right now? I would like to make a book with you. A book with me? No, but like I want... Your book, the one, the, the way, the yeah, one you did I it. Do, do Hannah did a oh, gorgeous book yesterday and she, I think she finished today. Uh, one second, Hannah. Let me just, yeah, you can show the, oh, you're finishing the book. Let me just, I'm using the white splatters now, but do you know what? Because this is not as white as it could be. So in the cheap color, I, I don't know if it's not white because my white is not white. Um, or is it because it's just a poor quality white or is it because it's dirty? I can't recall that. So what I may do is I may I may use this one, the calligraphy white ink that I love so much and I may just I may just have splatters. Oh you see it's much more snowy. And then, hello, and in the meantime, Hannah can show you her very beautiful book that she made it well, all not, by herself. Well, it's still not really done because I need a few more pages. A few more pages, but it's already looking beautiful. Yeah, and I would need a little bit of these colors. Which I colors? These. Oh, my, my, my brush markers, of course. I do share with her my supplies. Sometimes I say no at some point like sometimes Hannah was able to mix up a bit too much of my paints for example like You know not rinsing in between the colors well, now, you know to rinse like these are mine. 
the, yeah, these paints that I'm using, so you're sharing them with me today, right? Yeah. Um, and I usually would share mine as well. And Hannah knows to rinse in between now, rinse the, rinse the paints in between the colors, right? So yeah. she used to didn't know and then she learned. And um, and I have no problem to share. I think one of the paint that I didn't share much it's the the hollow one. These like yes, the hollow paint. And the paint. sparkly sometimes. Yes. I use this. You do? Yeah. But maybe, maybe when I don't look. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, well, I hope you did. I allow you back then. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm glad that you asked me. Okay, I think my beautiful friends. Hey, I didn't even finish. No, no, I'm not done yet, Hanushka. I'm not done. Oh, okay. One second. Yeah, no, no, you keep painting. But I'm thinking that I just love this tealy color, and I think. Yeah, because I made is it that pretty? color. Did you? Yes, yeah, so oh, I just mixed you. a few colors and I made it. Do you know what I'm thinking? That it would be just fabulous if I can just run across here with that tealy, pretty tealy color, right? That is a gorgeous one, don't you think? Yeah, because I made it. You made it? Really? How? Yeah. How did you make this color? Tell me. I don't really remember. I okay. think like purple and this blue, this purple okay. and this blue, Well, these are your paints after all, so maybe you did actually make it. I can't, I can't say. <laughs> oh. That's all. Oh, was, well, was that a difficult process to make it? Well, oh. it's pretty, pretty easy, but I oh. don't really remember. You don't remember? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Okay, I'm done with this color. Now I need, like... <gasps> Oops, that's okay, Hannah, don't worry. <laughs> Do you know what I'm thinking now, as we finished? I'm nearly mm -hmm. finished, Hannah, by the way, if you're wondering. I'm thinking to do those green splatters here. Wouldn't that be gorgeousness? Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. I actually like every day, whatever you do, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but most of the projects I do like them. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're very good. You're very kind and liking my projects. It's nice. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm thinking to maybe jump with that white and just have a little bit of a white kind of play to see well, what I'm will really happen. Well, I'm not done mine. Well, this is the front. Can I have a look? Oh, wow! Hannah, that is such a gorgeous... Did you draw those hearts yourself? Yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. Just by yourself without mm -hmm. even tracing anything? Are you sure? Wow, I'm so impressed now. That is gorgeous, Hannah. That is really beautiful. Okay, my friends, I think I'm done here. Are you done with yours, Hannah? Well, or nearly there? I just there? need to do some lines here. I'm thinking to just have just a touch of this water here, just to see. Now I'm done. Good job. Can I have a look at your beautiful... Um, like these are where you write wow. over here. Wow, super awesome. And that's it. Well done, that's so pretty. Okay, let's dry these. Oh, I love this. So pretty, the colors are amazing. Like, oops, I just ripped it, that's okay. Okay, amazing color. Um, come on, have a look. <laughs> My gorgeous, fr look, do you like this one? Yes, I do like it. Um, beautiful. Thank you. Uh, my beautiful friends, I'm going to finish here. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. A little bit of a painting session with me. I'm going to move on to the autumn colors and make some autumn uh, doodled trees. Yeah. Till the next time, happy painting. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.